1972, Finnish jazz rock guitarist Juka Harua released his first of two solo albums, Information, and from it, the track No More Blues. <laughs> Okay, already I'm getting kind of a burlesque troupe vibe from this. Kind of like a, like, thinking of like Common Turn, the, the French band. Yeah, kind of like a drunken marching band. I'm thinking just the potential of that kind of snare, that really crisp snare within a, a jazz rock arrangement. Well, Okay, we are getting some really uh, fractious sax interplay on this track. Uh, let's see, uh, soprano saxophone Marco uh, Marstella on this track, and tenor saxophone Ramo Wallen. Yes. <laughs> Raymo Wallen appeared that same year on um, Calava's People No Names album. Yeah, also released in the same label, uh, Finn Levy. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, taking this apart, let's see, we got the guitar going, just scaling down one note at a time. We got the saxophones just really dueling in this, like, dissonant glory and that, that snare drum rolling and the bass kind of just plopping around note to note. <laughs> I just love the uh, confluence of, of sound here. Oh, those 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 fills are just so crisp and. Okay, a great interplay between bass and, let's see, uh, b between bass and drums. On drums, on this track, uh, Reno Lane, yes. And bass by um, Heike uh, Virtanen. That, that bassist, uh, yeah, Heike Vertanen, let's see, looking down his big lengthy list of credits, um, he was on um, Eero um, Koivistoinen Music Society's Wahoo album, yeah, a classic. He was on a few uh, Juka Tolinen solo albums, Summer Games and the Hook. 
Um, he was on Charlie uh, Mariano's Reflections, uh, Tassa Villani Presidente's Milky Way Moses. Um, and let's see. And in 1976, he was on that album. Oh, uh, yeah. Nano uh, so uh, Soderbergh. Non uh, Nano Soderbergh. Nano, yeah. Oh, and Mike uh, Koskinen, Sunwebs. Yeah, a lot, some, some really good uh, finished jazz rock from the period. <laughs> And uh, the drummer, uh, Raina Lane, uh, he was on several of the same albums. He was also on, um, oh, okay, uh, he, he was on uh, two of the um, classic um, Eero um, Koi Vistoinen um, albums, yeah, Wahoo and Third Version, um, some of the same, the as I mentioned, Charlie Mariano, Jukatolinen, and uh, he was on um, the 1975 comeback album by Anki, yeah, a uh, Finnish singer-songwriter, and the 1975 Uni Sono album, yeah, that great one-off. Um, I think that was kind of a Finnish jazz rock supergroup. Um, on several of those Calm albums, al along with our main guy here. Oh, and he was on uh, Pekka Pajol, uh, no, Pekka uh, Pajola's uh, 1972, his first solo album, yeah, Pink, uh, Pinkasilma Karnakorva, yeah. Yeah, and been on a lot of been on a lot of like jazz ensembles. Okay, we've gotten to a real fast fast jams section here, and uh, like the guitar giving us some like wah wah. I think I'm more taken by the bass. The, the way the bass is just moving around really fluidly amid the flurry of drums, yeah. The rhythm section, I think, is like the strongest element throughout this track. <laughs> Bass, how it's like scaling mid midsection, then it scales up, then down, and the, yeah, the drummer is the ultimate player on this. The way he's doing all those fills and putting all that cymbal spray in. <laughs> Okay, now uh, the guitar, now uh, Juka is starting to uh, like give us a little bit of variation, throwing in a little bit of faster licks. There, you hear that. Okay, we're like three, uh, no, we're like 440 into this track. I, I really want to see if Juka can truly take the track and really say okay it, it, you, you know make it make it really felt that that this is his album i so far i i from I'm, I'm getting the feeling that he's more foremost like an arranger but but several other players have 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 kind of upstaged him it here <laughs> Now it's getting back to the attraction from earlier in the piece. Now it's 
really getting fractious and dissonant and just it it's turning into this big heaping pile of expressionism. <laughs> Oh god, the drums are just kicking kicking up dust. Uh like like ugh. the bass is just kinda like darting around like and, and and everything else is just this big like convergence, this big of like sonic squiggly lines. <laughs> Drums are like really kicking up dust, debris, and smoke. make a note of this drummer and, and see if he might need to be put on a best drummers list. Recapitulation, getting back to that, like, true. Uh, kind of yeah that burlesque section that book ended the piece yeah that was a no more blues by juka um haru um ha haru these names, I, I, I recognize them on paper, but pronouncing them is difficult. Like, I would need to hear other people pronounce them a few times. Yeah, let's hear another track from the album, Information What. Mita. Album, like where where tracks like begin uh, kind of with this bur this burlesque element with just like love like really simplistic like like dun -dun 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 type drumming and then and then of course we're gonna get much more free form and and jazzy as the track gets into its core. <laughs> good uh ascending pattern uh, like brass rocky you know coming out of the abyss you know from from out of the deep with some like acidic guitar <laughs> yeah kind of a brassy uh riff that unison riff that would make like a oh that like I imagine like if for Coliseum or Mogul Thrash would have, you know, been proud to have done. <laughs> instruments are being treated here it seems like 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 more than one more than just the guitar has that kind of effect to it I like the the exchanges, little filigree uh, uh, back and forth between like really low and uh, 
low fret uh, fuzz guitar and uh, electric piano. <laughs> I think I'm liking the guitar better on this track than the last one. It's it's much it's it's com a lot more competitive with the r rhythm section this time. And once again, the same kind of a uh, rhythmic component where we're some really fast drumming and some fluid, really note, uh, really free bass, roaming bass. <laughs> Yeah, I like these really like tight legato runs of the guitars that that joke is doing. <laughs> Like the how uh, the the bass and guitar are complementing one another here. They're both playing really almost at the same speed, kind of. <laughs> oh, and even better when you throw in some electric piano, some some psychedelic. Tone piano. Like, uh, like because it was really clean while everyone was playing then they all subside and then suddenly it's, it starts to have that fuzzy tone again like he just kind of like hit this pedal with his foot and have that effect going on the whole time it just it, it's more noticeable a kind of fuzzy tonality is more noticeable when he's playing like the lower um strings and and, and frets than when he's going up high <laughs> during the earlier solo because it was so like the notes were so tight so staccato so like like clean high <laughs> throws those triad chords in there yeah i i like this so i i, I like this guitar part uh, i i like his his presence on this track a lot better than on the last track on, on the last track i thought some of the other instrumentalists took over and and and, and he, he he really held his own here <laughs> track of that bass the way it's just like moving around moving note you know just spiraling notes <laughs> Juka um, Haru. Har yeah. Um, I had said it just before I went on air, and then um, it had been like 10 minutes when I tried to re 
uh, pronounce it. And um, yeah, but a, a lot of these names are quite a challenge to me. But um, I, I recognize a lot of them on paper, though, from uh, other albums I've listened to and such. Um, I did, couldn't quite find who was responsible for the electric piano on, on this particular track before... Yeah, it's a piano, uh, piano on one track. Oh, by uh, one track that I didn't play, Evil, has an appearance by Ole Avenlati. Yeah, he put out some really good uh, mid-70s jazz albums. Yeah, Bandstand and, and The Poet. Yeah, both both really strong. Um, yeah, and uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, this uh, being one of two albums that uh, Juka Haru put out under his own name. The other, um, I haven't worked through yet. Yeah, uh, episode. I think it might be a little bit different than this one. Uh, anyway, during the 1970s, um, he was in, let's see, Jesse and the Boys at one point. Uh, they kind of looked like a folk rock band um, from Finland. And he was in... Um, Let's see. Oh, he led a band called the Super Kings that made a recording, Pop Lisa 2, that part of the series that has recently been issued on Svart Records. Um, Svart. Yeah, this... Uh, and uh, that that issue, um, like these early 70s recordings from Finland, mostly jazz rock. Oh, he was in, um, let's see, a band called Taurus, kind of one single. Oh, and he um, was at some point involved with um, Kam Kavarteti. Uh, the Kam branch of bands is somewhat confusing to me. It's somewhat convoluted. The, the Jazz Lisa recording, yeah, that that what I've heard. That's a really strong one. Kam, though, um, oh, they put out. Let's see, there was this really good album uh, in 1977, uh, Calm and Agit Prop. Um, but I think a lot of the Calm stuff maybe have, have been more like folk, like politifolk oriented. I'm, I'm not quite sure. It's, it, it, there seem to be several different branches of musical acts um, under that, I, I, attached to the, the, um, the Calm franchise uh, k-o-m yeah yeah big uh so, someone someone really 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 nuanced in 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 the history of 70s finnish um jazz rock and rock in general might be able to uh clarify all that yeah anyway for more rubies and sapphires from uh juka um <clears throat> Haru's information album. See the directory of albums by Finnish artists linked in the description below for Red Hot Tracks and Purples from this album and many other great Finnish bands of the 70s like uh, Tasavalani Presidenti, if I said it right. Um, uh, Ajuka Tolanen. Um, yeah, a whole great Ka Kasavala. Um, Haikara. Uh, Pekka Pajola. Um, Musta Parati from the 80s, yeah, a uh, really rich scene. Um, the soft machine influence seemed to have really picked up quite big in that, in that country, yeah. Like and subscribe, follow me on social media, and share the video on social media and music discussion uh, forums and such. And leave a comment if there are any observations you have about the two tracks we just heard, the interplay, the soloing, um, yeah, who had the best uh, break, yeah, which uh, instrumentalist stood out, uh, you found the most intense, the most impressive. And until next time, this is Aragon, the world's most ear-traveled trimaximalist, signing off.